the iconic piece of movie memorabilia from the film Star Wars, Episode 6, Return of the Jedi is predicted to sell for a huge sum of money. The light-up C-3PO head is from the collection of actor Anthony Daniels, who wore it when he played the droid while filming the Star Wars film. It comes after another C-3PO head belonging to the actor sold at auction for £687,500. This piece of Star Wars history is set to make an even bigger amount with experts expecting it to reach somewhere in the region of $1 million. The 77-year-old actor said, After the huge success of part one of the sale of my collection in London, I'm so pleased that Prop Store will offer the remainder of my treasures in Los Angeles. I hope these wonderful pieces of memorabilia find new homes where they will be displayed, respected and enjoyed by fans, who now have a chance to own a genuine piece of Star Wars history. Movie fans from far and wide will be flocking to the auction which is being held in Los Angeles, where they'll have the chance to purchase memorabilia from other much-celebrated films such as Grease, Braveheart, I Love Lucy and The Shawshank Redemption. Incredible items being sold include Wolverine's leather jacket and shirt from X-Men, 2000, a Freddy Krueger stunt mask from A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, 1989, a dress uniform jacket worn by Charlie Chaplin from The Great Dictator, 1940, and Moses Commandments tablets from The Ten Commandments, 1956. Additionally, Indiana Jones' stunt leather jacket, worn by Vic Armstrong, in the 1984 film Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, may fetch between $200,000-$400,000, pounds to £316,878. Wyatt's Panhead Chopper motorcycle from the cult 1969 film Easy Rider is expected to reach a similar amount of money. Back to the Future fans will be itching to get their hands on Marty McFly's Hondo Chiquita guitar, 1985, which is predicted to fetch up to $200,000, £158,439, and Harry Potter's wand from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, 2004, could go for between $10,000, £20,000, to £15,848. No film and TV memorabilia auction worth its salt would be complete without something from the archives of 007. A suit worn by Sir Sean Connery in 1967 James Bond movie You Only Live Twice is also up for auction and is expected to reach up to $80,000, 63,392 pounds. Elsewhere, Gimli's double-headed axe from the Lord of the Rings trilogy, 2001 to 2003, could make between $100,000, $200,000, £79,240 to £158,439, while Audrey Hepburn's beautiful embroidered gown from the film Sabrina, 1954, is expected to reach a similar amount. The hugely exciting auction is being held by Prop Store, which holds similar ones all over the world regularly. Prop Store's chief operations manager, Brandon Allinger said, The auction has a strong showing of the usual crowd favorite titles such as Indiana Jones and Blade Runner, and also contains a great spread of vintage material from names like Charlie Chaplin, Groucho Marx, Audrey Hepburn, Charlton Heston, and many more. For entry-level collectors, the third day of the auction are all offered in a no-reserve format, meaning the lots are highly accessible. The top pieces will be offered on day one of the auction and bidding will take place live from the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles, in addition to being available via telephone and online. The highly anticipated auction of more than 1,700 lots will be held between March 12 to 14, and will be available for online, telephone and absentee bidding as well as in person.